Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a progress bar in Excel VBA so that you can see the progress of your macros and it's going to look something like this if I open up my macros right now and run what I have this is it you can see it showing your progress both visually with the bar but also with a caption above as your macro goes through to its completion there is no screen updating so you can't see that progress you don't want to see it but with the bar the user is aware of what is happening and how much longer is left okay so let's get stuck into that now the first thing we are going to need to do is create our user form for the progress bar so in my visual basic window here I'll click on my insert menu at the top and choose user form and then the first thing I'm going to do is look at changing the name and caption on this user form so let me give it the name of progress that's the name of my user form and then to change the caption at the top using the properties window I am down here if you do not see a properties window yourself just click on the view menu at the top and you'll see the properties window down there now for a caption uh, let me just call it macro progress that will do for this example and here we go and you can see that at the top there I'm just going to resize my window a tiny bit now on this user form I'm going to insert three controls I'm going to insert a frame and two labels and I'm going to explain why as we go let me begin with the frame now the frame is this icon on here with the little XYZ so frame is a kind of container element I can click on that you know, click and drag draw it onto my page in a kind of rough uh, position and then I can use the properties window to play around with that now for the name I wanted to name this border so this frame is going to be the border around the bar so what the bar is actually contained in that rectangle the caption I'm going to completely remove I do not want a caption and that will do me for now actually one more thing I'll need the width let me scroll down to the bottom here obviously I can resize this frame by clicking and dragging the handles but I want to be specific here and you're going to see why later in this video but I'm going to make the width quite look how close that was I was going to make it 200 and I've just resized it 198 that was not intentional but very close but no cigar so let's me type in 200 in there and we have that okay that is the uh, kind of frame the container done now I want to insert a label control so let me click on my user form click on my label control the capital A and let me draw that uh, let me draw it outside of the frame and do some of my work let me name this one bar so this is going to be the actual bar inside the frame that's what this is and I will not worry about a caption for now I'm going to put that in using my code now I will want a width again and this is also going to be 200 it's 198 again it's also going to be 200 it's going to match the width of the frame and for this one it's probably worth exploring some of the colors as well because this is going to be the actual progress bar so what color do you want that to be now I'm going to come in here and where are we uh, back color let's use this drop down and go to the little palette tab and I'm going to go for a green color for the width of my bar which now I can see it quite clearly I'm going to drag it into 
my frame. That will do quite nicely. Let me just resize that frame up a little bit. Here we go. This will do, I think, for now. Doesn't have to be uber accurate in this example. That'll do. And now I need one more control. This is going to be another label. Let me click on that. This label is going to be just above the bar. Obviously, you can put these labels wherever you wish. Uh, unposition it just above the bar. I'm not going to worry about being too precise that it is slightly off by my eye. And I'm going to give this a name of text because this is going to display the text of let's say 23% complete, 48% complete. It's going to show that text, that progress text. At caption, I do not need right now, code will handle that. Uh, I've got the opportunity to change font color and stuff and fonts, but I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Uh, how we're doing with the, lit, uh, the uh, position of the frame, uh, Okay, and from the bar, from the left is 30, the frame. Then we come in here, that's left 30. Apparently they're lined up. Okay, so I think we've got our three controls in there. We're now going to go into the code and start writing the meaty bits to actually create this automated progress of our macro. I will double click on my module one uh, code window where I can see that I have already written some of the code. Now I've not written anything for my progress bar yet. All I've got here is just the code for the actual macros job. And I didn't feel it beneficial for you guys to see me writing this in the video. It's just going to clutter it up. Now this just does a very simple thing, this macro, it's just looping down column 10, uh, which is column J on the spreadsheet, and it's simply multiplying the value uh, by 1.1. It's adding 10% on top of the current value. Uh, it's a very uh, silly little macro, I'm not pretending that it's going to be useful or anything, it's just this list is large enough, and that task is big enough for the macro to take enough time to see the progress bar just needed some kind of process and I've gone for that and that codes already in there so we don't have to worry about that okay so the stuff we need for the progress bar though starting from the top I want some variables so I'm going to create a variable and this one is going to be for current progress let me tidy up my type in there straight away And I'm going to make this as a double. That is going to be the data type. I'm then going to create another variable. This one is for progress percentage. You know, you can name these as you want. That is also a data type of double. Don't overly worry about the data types too much. You know, if you don't put one, it will be that variant data type. And that will be able to handle uh, this stuff itself. And then doing one more, which I'm going to call bar width. And that is going to be a data type of long. Okay, so we've got these three variables. So I've created one called current progress. And as its name implies, I'm going to use that to store the progress through the rows of my spreadsheet. So I've got a lot of rows on this spreadsheet. An awful lot of rows. I can't remember how many even. Uh, just shy of 13,000 rows. That's how many it is. It's going to loop down column J each time. So I want to know that whatever row I'm currently in, if I'm in row 15, what is that of 13,000? What, what, what percentage progress is that? And that's what some of these variables are going to be doing for me. So figure out what the current progress is. I'm then going to need to calculate the how wide the bar should be and I'm going to have a variable to to store that data then also another variable to store what the actual percentage is 
So he wants to know how far through I am, show that as a percentage, and I want that in that uh, label, that text uh, label that I've got. Okay, so with those in there, I'm now going to click in the part of the code where I need my form to appear. So my macro is running here, it knows how many total rows there are. Before it starts the loop, I want the form to appear on screen so that people can see the macro's progress. Now what I'm going to do here is create a, another sub, another macro, and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of code in there uh, to initialize the user form. And I'm going to call it at this point in the macro. So let me come and put this at the bottom. I'm going to create a new macro, which I'm going to call sub uh, init. So short for initialize. That's what's in my head right there. Progress bar. Let me just uh, bring this code easier on screen. Here we go. In its progress bar. Very simple little bits of code in here. Nothing too crazy going on. All I'm going to do is put with progress. So remember my user form is called progress. So I'm referring to my user form right now. With progress. End with. So I'm going to do a few things to the user form as it initializes. First thing, set the bar width, bar dot width. Remember, bar is the name I gave to the bar, but the label that I'm using for the bar, I've called it bar. Remember, that's what that is. I hope that made sense. It didn't seem to be weird hearing myself say that. Uh, next up, dot txt, text. Remember, that's the label I've got above it showing the text. I'm going to make the caption of that equal to 0% complete. So when it first initializes, start from 0% complete. That's where you're beginning from. And then the last bit, the really important thing, show the user form dot show and I'm going to put a VB modeless after that so you get modal and modeless uh, user forms for Excel and I want this to be modeless so what that means is that a user can still interact with the spreadsheet while the code is running whereas if it was a modal user form they would not be able to do that until they cancel or or the macro is finished, they will not be able to interact anywhere else. Whereas I want that to be possible, so I'm making it modeless. Okay, so this is in its progress bar. That's what I've called this sub. And I'm going to call it at this point in the code. So call in it progress bar. So those steps would be created, it would reset the width if needed, it would kind of reset or stabilize the caption and most importantly show the form in a modeless state. And that's all going to happen here. Then it will enter the loop and start doing its job and incrementing the row number to loop back round. And inside there, once it's done its job and before it increments, that's where I'm going to get it to recalculate the progress of my macro. Okay, so first I want to calculate the current progress. So I'm using my variable called current progress to capture this information. And what I'm going to do to calculate that is simply divide i. So that's the variable for the row number. So the current row number, and I'm going to divide that by total rows. So that will return um, as a double in a decimal form, so let's just refer to it as a percentage form, the progress of my macro. That's what that's going to do. Now, normally these progresses don't have to be 100% accurate, so don't worry too much about being really on the nose with progress. You know, it's nice to be as close as you can, 
Uh, but you can probably testify when you see other people's software and stuff that you know very rarely is it massively accurate. It will vary from yeah <laughs> as the macro progresses, you'll see it change. But that's going to calculate the progress for me right now. I now need to calculate how wide the bar should be, the progress bar. So I'm going to use my bar width variable, and to calculate that, I'm going to multiply at progress dot border dot width. So the width of the border, uh, which was my frame on the user form of the progress form. So progress user form border control the width of it multiply that width by current progress that variable that we've literally just assigned some information to so that's going to tell me what you know percentage of it that should be and it's going to be assigned to this variable so that I can use that now my last variable there is progress percentage and now I'm going to bring that in I need to assign something to that. Progress percentage equals. I'm going to put in a round function right now. And I want it to round the current progress figure. I'm going to multiply that by 100 to start with. And I'm going to round it to zero. So you see, I'm in the function here. You can see the box below zero no decimals at all so multiply current progress by a hundred to get a percentage round it to the nearest integer this is the one that's going to be used to display above my bar this is going to be that text okay now i've got the variables set up uh, let's get them actually working with the controls uh, so let me do progress dot bar so this is the actual progress bar dot width needs to be equal to my bar width variable and then the progress dot txt the text above it caption needs to be equal to the progress percentage value that I just rounded in my calculation. Little concatenation operator there. And then I'm going to put a percentage sign and complete. And then I'm going to write the line do events. So, what that line does, that is critical, that statement there. That is ensuring that events are still being accomplished are still happening during the processing of the macro. So to recap, I've got my three variables and find out what the current progress is and calculating what the width of the bar should be and then convert that into a percentage of that progress for display. I'm then actually setting the bar width and setting the, the text and ensuring events still happen during the macro process. The last thing that's really necessary here is that after the loop is done, I will unload the user form, which is called progress. So I'm just going to unload progress. So I initialized it before the loop. When it's all done, unload it. And that is our progress bar set up. So let's go and test it out. So I will close down this VBE, it takes me back to my list. Let me open up my macros window, select my progress bar macro, and let's run that. And there we have it. A macro progress form along the top there. You can see it going through the code. And then the form will close down when it's completed. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.